NBA talk. Um, New York Knicks versus Miami Heat. Um, the back-to-back -back game. Um, once again, we lost again. We just bowed them, I believe, like around Tuesday. Tuesday, I think. At Miami. Now we lost at home. Oh boy, oh boy. Basically, we came out to a hot start in the like in the first quarter, and then we just collapsed from since then. Oh boy. Offensively, defensively, we were holding our own for a while. We couldn't stop uh, Gerald Green. We could not stop him. Carmelo Anthony just collapsed after going four or five in the first quarter, and then he went. Abs I think in the first half that's how he had it. Four out of five shooting, and then he completely collapsed. So, okay, let me just start this from the beginning because this is stressful right now. Um. The Miami Heat win ninety seven to seventy eight. Carmelo Anthony sucked really bad. Nothing, barely, barely nothing from anybody. Prudinskis, I, I give him a pass because they didn't give him enough minutes. That's for sure. Um. A follow they didn't play enough minutes. Called a roam. Yeah, because when you go deep into your uh, reserves like that, to have people who don't even play regularly, to have them come out now, I mean, it had to become really, really bad. They didn't play that whack player, Savajevic. Um, I don't know what to do. Um, so Carmelo Anthony ended up with eleven points. That's it. Four out of thirteen shooting. Played thirty three minutes. By God. Prudenskis also have eleven points. Five out of eleven shooting. Uh, with three blocks. Uh, yeah, I would say because of uh, foul trouble as well, as I see it. Uh, Robert Lopez. I don't know why we... A follow. Didn't play really at all. Only played 19 minutes. Calderon. And I seen him. God, man. You have all these reserves. Now they're just looking suckage. They all look terrible. Coming off the bench. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, Miami Heat. You have a couple players going in. You have Chris Bosh giving you 20 points. 7 out of 15 shooting. Yeah, it could have been. Well, no. I say it's pretty much good enough. To get a solid win out of him. Gerald Green being a beast. Giving you 25 points. 8 out of 14 shooting. 4 out of 8 from the 3 point range. The boy showed up. And he being started in a. Being put in the starting lineup is crazy too. Gotta give a little change. Because Luau Deng seems to be gone. Um, Hassan Whiteside didn't good do offensively. But defensively. Jeez. He like he gave him back to back blocks, six blocks, baby. Fourteen rebounds. This boy's better be get paid. He better get paid. And it is end of this year, end of this uh, season. He better get paid. Um, Drogic, He's looking more and more depressing by the minute. Like he seems to be an afterthought now. Truly, he truly looks like an afterthought, and 
and I'm going to say this again, Tyler Johnson could be on the verge of taking his spot in the starting lineup. I honestly think that would be the best thing for him right now. Because you right now, you want to justify the signing of $90 million right now. So you don't want to easily let him go yet. But I would right now put Tyler Johnson in there. Because I do not understand why he's in there. Tyler Johnson is playing harder. He's playing better than him. Even though not, not in this game he didn't. But all the same. Shoot. Uh, D-Wade gave you 17 points. 7 out of 17 shooting. Not a good night for him. But defensively, we could have taken this team. Defensively, we're taking it to this team because we were holding them down hard. However, offensively, we suck. The Knicks is just is just ninety-seven Heat, seven seventy-eight Knicks. We need to do something offensively. Defensively, we're doing great. I love the effort. I love the tenacity. I love the physicalness of this game. But offensively, not in sync. No one to rely on. Carmelo Anthony is starting to look less and less like Carmelo. What to do?